What if you could generate a full character sequence, multiple scenes, different actions, changing locations, but always with the same face, the same person, no identity glitches, and no weird flickering? That's exactly what Echo Shot makes possible. Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're into AI generated video, maybe for storytelling, character animations, or even stylized ad content, you've probably run into this classic problem. Your character keeps changing. One second, they have short curly hair. The next, it's red and straight. Or worse, they just don't look like the same person anymore. You write a great prompt, and the model gives you something completely different in the next scene. That's the challenge we're solving today, and the tool we're using is Echo Shot. Most video generation tools today are built to create just one short scene at a time. That's fine for quick demos, but real content, the kind you'd use in a video, short film, or ad, needs more. It needs multiple shots, different angles, different actions, different settings, but the same identity. Here's the problem. When these models were trained, they learned how to make pretty good single scene videos, but they didn't learn how to stay consistent across scenes. So when you ask them to generate a few different clips of the same person, they forget what the person looked like. Or they start mashing up all your prompts together, one scene leaks into the next, and everything gets messy. And that's where Echo Shot comes in. It was designed from the ground up to treat multi-scene video generation as its own task, not just a hack on top of single scene models. Echo Shot is built on a powerful video model that understands motion, camera movement, and how to translate a prompt into visual actions. But what makes it unique are two things it adds under the hood. First, it knows where one scene ends and the next begins. Think of this like a director calling out cut between shots. Most models don't do that. They treat the entire video as one continuous blob. Echo Shot adds a smart system to recognize these breaks and handle them cleanly. This helps the model know when to reset the background, change the lighting, or switch the behavior without losing track of who the person island Second, Echo Shot knows which part of your prompt goes with which scene. If you write, Shot 1. A woman sits in a cafe with a soft smile. Shot 2. She walks barefoot along the beach. The model won't blend them together. Each scene stays aligned with its part of the prompt. It's like giving clear stage directions and the model listens. Together, these upgrades let Echo Shot create videos that feel more like a film sequence and less like a slideshow of random clips. But here's the part most people miss. None of this would work without really good training data. The creators of Echo Shot built something called Portrait Gala, a massive video dataset with over half a million clips of people in different environments. But this isn't just a dump of random footage. Each clip is carefully organized and described using detailed captions. These captions don't just say woman walking or man smiling. They go into specifics like hairstyle, clothing, mood, lighting, even the way the camera moves. This kind of detail teaches the model how to match what you say with what it shows. So when you write, a middle-aged man in a gray suit looks concerned as he picks up the phone, the model actually understands that sentence as a visual instruction. Now, how do we put all this power into your hands? I'll show you a full workflow running inside Comfy UI, the visual interface many of us use for generative pipelines. In this workflow, I've integrated Echo Shot's capabilities using a few key components. The video generator is a custom version of the 1.2.1 model. You don't need to worry about the number or name, it's the core engine that actually draws the frames. Then we have a VAE, which helps convert the internal data into a clean video format. We also use a smart text encoder, so our prompts, especially long, detailed ones, don't get chopped or 
misunderstood. To fine tune how the scenes play out, I also added a few lightweight modules called Lauras. Think of them like personality tweaks. One helps the character express emotion more clearly, another keeps their face stable even when things move fast, and another makes sure the motion between scenes feels natural and not robotic. Together, these parts turn Comfy UI into a personal video studio where you can write your ideas and see them play out across multiple scenes with one consistent character. Until now, consistent identity in AI video was one of those almost but not quite problems. You could get close, but only with a lot of manual effort, image reference, juggling, and post editing. Echo Shot changes that. It gives you the tools to design longer, coherent videos with characters that feel believable and stable, even across changing prompts. It's fast, it's clean, and the best part? It doesn't require massive hardware or multi-billion parameter models. This workflow runs on a single card with smart optimizations to keep things smooth and responsive. In the next section, I'll take you through the Comfy UI graph itself, showing how I connected each node, how I format the prompts, and how to make the model respect your scene descriptions without leaking details between shots. If you've ever tried to create consistent AI characters across multiple scenes, or you just want to step up your storytelling tools, this is going to change how you work. Make sure you're subscribed if you want more breakdowns like this one, and if you're already thinking of prompts you want to try, drop them in the comments, I'd love to include them in future tests. Let's take a moment to talk about how to write prompts that actually work well with EchoShot. EchoShot was trained on a dataset with very structured captions. That means you'll get the best results if your prompt includes a clear description of the scene, the character, their behavior, and the environment, almost like you're writing a piece of visual narration for a movie. Let me give you a quick example using one of the sequences I'll show later. Here's a simplified version of a three-shot video featuring a red panda. Urban setting. A red panda with soft reddish-brown fur and a bushy striped tail is perched on a wooden bench in the heart of a bustling city. The panda is joyfully eating a colorful ice cream cone. Forest action. In a sun-dappled forest, a red panda with expressive eyes is running swiftly along a dirt path. Ferns, wildflowers and birds surround it. Indoor bath scene. Inside a cozy bathroom, a red panda is taking a bubble bath in a white tub, gently splashing water. A rubber duck floats nearby. What's important here is that each prompt is self-contained. Each one describes who the character is, a red panda, with specific features, what the character is doing, eating ice cream, running, bathing, where they are, a city, a forest, a bathroom, and a bit of ambience or mood, sunlight, bubbles, traffic, birdsong. This mirrors how the Echo Shot model was trained with captions broken down into attributes like appearance, behavior, background, lighting, and expression. So if you want your own multi-shot sequences to work well, think in scenes. Write each shot like a director setting up a location, what's happening, what's visible, what's around the character, and most importantly, keep your descriptions clear and vivid but not too vague or poetic. You're not writing poetry here. You're giving instructions to a very literal visual artist. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It helps a lot the channel growing. Let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. Sources and links at the description. Thanks for watching and see you at the next